Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Channel Surfing. We're down here in Dry Dock over in Everett under a covered slip. That was kind of an uh, endeavor to get the boat out on the sling and then onto a trailer and then backed in over here. But then now we're here with uh, Kevin at Premier Custom Ceramic Coating um, to get our boat ceramic coated. As you can see, we're about, what, three quarters done so far, Kevin? Yep. About to leave. Already packing, come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be, life with no distractions. We'll get away. This is what we waited for. All right, we're headed over to the lift at Port of Everett to get our boat taken out. We're gonna have ceramic coating done by uh, Kevin. If you enjoy our videos and have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing as it really helps us out. We hope that you enjoy and if you're new to our channel, welcome and enjoy. Thanks for watching.
nice. It's quite the difference. What I gauge is when I'm coming across like this, how clear my shadow is on this side as to whether it's polished enough. already on there things like that it's yeah like, so you have to get all that off or it doesn't you're yeah. never gonna get the shine that you right you're defeating the purpose mm -hmm. because it's oxidation is like cancer you know if you don't get it all out it's yeah it's coming back Thanks for tuning in this episode of Channel Surfing. We're down here in Dry Dock over in Everett under a covered slip. That was kind of a uh, endeavor to get the boat out on the sling and then onto a trailer and then backed in over here. But then now we're here with uh, Kevin at Premier Custom Ceramic Coating um, to get our boat ceramic coated. As you can see, we're about, what, three quarters done so far, Kevin? Yep. 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 So um, a couple questions I want to ask Kevin. I get asked a lot of questions about ceramic coating, why we decided to do it and stuff. And I thought the best person to answer that would be Kevin. That way I don't miss anything in the translation. So Kevin, why don't you start out by telling us um, how ceramic coating is different than waxing and, and what makes it better? <clears throat> so ceramic coating is different than wax because it chemically bonds to the surface. Mm -hmm. It uh, also fills the pores of the gel coat and protects against uh, oxidation and then it also you get a better shine than you will with any kind of wax that's built. Being that it's chemically bonded, the only way you can get it off is to wear it off. Solvents will not remove the ceramic coating. Oh, interesting. So, um, and of course, wax and grease remover or anything spilt on your wax is going to strip your wax off wherever you have put it. So, it's a, a heavier duty than wax mm -hmm. uh, and it lasts longer than wax. Um, so, so lasts longer, so I, I hate waxing and unfortunately with boats waxing is a necessary evil. Um, as I understand it, wax is like sunscreen to the boats and boats are always out in the sun. Um, so uh, how much longer can I expect the ceramic coating to last as opposed to a conventional wax? Well, it, it depends on your usage of the boat, where you keep it as well, mm -hmm. it can last, and then how you maintain it. So, it can last up to two to three years without maintaining it very much if you're in a covered slip. Um, if you're out in the sun, it's not going to last as long as, uh, as if you're in a covered slip. Uh, we have aftercare products that uh, um, are simple to use. It's a spray and wipe. And what it does is it's, I call it ceramic light. Mm -hmm. It puts a, a coat of light ceramic on it and then rejuvenates the nano uh, feature of the ceramic coating. Mm -hmm. and the nano feature is your water repellent mm -hmm. and that's, uh, it acts like Rain-X on steroids basically. So, so we operate obviously in salt water which is the harshest of environments as opposed to like a freshwater lake. So. Um, how does it work with salt? Is so salt so corrosive? With the salt, 
Um, once you get back to the dock, all you have to do is rinse it off with fresh water. You don't have to use any salt away or anything, and it just sheets the salt right off of there. Oh, really? Yeah. And a lot of times what I'll recommend is uh, if you're putting your boat away, I recommend just rinsing it down with water and take a, a leaf blower and blow it dry. The uh, water is basically scared of the surface, so it just oh, interesting. rolls right off. Okay. Quickly, you dry. You wash this boat and dry the whole boat in probably an hour, hour and mm -hmm. a half at the most. Do I have to use any special soaps um, with it? No, you don't. Um, we do give you a cleaning kit with each uh, ceramic coating that we do, and, and I have a soap that I have in there that's a nano soap, and it has a uh, water spot uh, agent to mm -hmm. it. So some guys just insist on using soap. They're just used to it and so they want to have it. Mm -hmm. So I put out a product that works really well and we supply it. So if you had some bird droppings or something that are a little tougher to get off mm -hmm. than water, you can spray this on there and it will melt it away. Okay. And then the, the Africa, so what am I going to have to do once you're finished just to maintain it to get the longest life out of the ceramic coat? So I recommend if you're in an open slip every six months to use the hydro serum that we provide. It's, it's provided in the cleaning kit and you can buy more of it afterwards. Mm -hmm. It's basically a spray and wipe. You take a microfiber and you dampen it so that it's just barely damp. Mm -hmm. And then you spritz on a, a couple of spritzes. You move it around like this, take a dry one and like that and you're done. With so that no section. buffing wheel, no, no buffing wax, wheel, no. 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 Okay. That's and the nice relief. part about it is it, it works awesome on the windows, on your stainless, so you can keep your windows uh, better than Rain-X and easier to do. You can do the windows on this boat in probably 10, was, 15 minutes. I was going to say, Rain-X is pretty good, so better than Rain-X has to be phenomenal. Yeah, but Rain-X is hard to do. It does, yeah, it does so take a little bit of time. It's a lot of work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this is just spritz and dry and you're done. Mm -hmm. And it's, it shines. Okay. So um, to do a boat, what's all involved with getting ceramic coating put on the boat? What's the process you so go through to do So our process it? is uh, uh, not all ceramic coaters are, are created equal. We do a lot of prep work before we ceramic coat and it makes our product look much better. Mm -hmm. um, we buff and polish the entire boat. Um, if it's a brand new boat, it just doesn't need to be buffed unless there's some bad spots in it. But mm -hmm we will polish the entire boat and what that does is it takes off any of the flash from uh, when your, your uh, gel coat is curing mm -hmm. you'll get a little flash and if you look on a brand new boat from the side you'll see little clouds in it mm -hmm. um, and that's the gel coat flashing so uh, all boats do it from brand new mm -hmm. so we remove all of that with the polish clean everything, um, so make sure there's no wax or mold release or anything on there. We probably cleaned this boat four times. Oh wow. Because each time we do a step we, uh, we use an alcohol solution that we clean behind us. Mm -hmm. Each step that we do. So, and then there's a final wipe before we put any ceramic coat just to make sure no fingerprints or anything like that is on mm -hmm. it. So. so when you go over the boat how many times do you go over the same spot on the boat? Um, anywhere from four to seven. Four to seven times on the same spot going to, to put it on. Yes. And then when we wipe the, the ceramic is applied, then it flashes, then we wipe the flash, and then we do a final wipe. So we're probably, our hand touches every inch of this boat probably at least ten times. Wow. <clears throat> so it, it's a it's a pro process, mm -hmm. and but you can see the results that we get be mm -hmm. because of it. Mm -hmm. Very we, labor intensive. Yeah, we had one of our clients that brought his boat um, up from California to have us do it, and he took his boat to Lake Havasu, and he was the shiniest boat in the marina, mm -hmm. and five other boats were ceramic coated. None of them looked like ours. Right. So it's, it's our process as well as, as our product. Yeah. How long have you been doing ceramic coating? Uh, since 2017 when I got my first Ranger Tug. 
So that's for both. Well, you were doing automotive before then, right? I did uh, auto re auto body repair for yeah. 35, 40 years. Yeah, so you're, you're not new to the industry. No, no. <laughs> I, painted, I, I painted cars in high school, so. Yeah, you've, been, you've been in the detail business for a while. Yes, yes. Yeah. And, and coming from the automotive industry, I noticed that our detail is more detail than the boating industry for some mm -hmm. reason. Uh, we'd put the detail back into detail. Right. Um, try and get every spot. Well, and as far as boat ownership, so. I mean, it's so hard to keep boats clean, especially the environment that they're they're in. Especially us in salt water all the time. I mean, the salt water is not clean at all. That's one of the biggest benefits of ceramic coating. Everybody I talked to said they spend 70% less time cleaning their boat when they get it back to the dock. I like that. <laughs> and, and they take 30, 40 to 60 pounds of cleaning supplies out of the boat. Wow. Mm -hmm. So I'm that, looking forward to that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, it is your hose. Mm -hmm. You know, hose it down, and mm -hmm. and uh, if you got a little portable air bra blower, you can mm -hmm. blow it off. You don't have to, but I I recommend doing it when mm -hmm. you're at home mm -hmm. port. Yeah. In total time, so we had the the boat hauled out Monday midday. Um, it's like three to four days, you know, on the hard to, to have this done for, for the R27. I'm assuming the 25 and 23, maybe a little less time. Um, pretty, it's, pretty close. Yeah, they're pretty same. close because it's only a couple of feet longer and, and it's the detail that takes the time. Mm -hmm. So, and especially on a used boat and mm -hmm. we we'll do a lot of cleaning. So we'll be doing pressure washing the decks and making sure we get all of that out. We do all of the non-skid. And the non-skid, once it's coated, it's so easy to keep clean that it's pathetic. It's I'm really looking forward to that because I hate cleaning the non-skid. And waxing the non-skid is even, even it, more. It's impossible. Yeah, to, it's to really wax. hard to work so with. When, the, when this is done, you can get a troll on the boat with dirty shoes and and just take a hose and it just rinses right off. Yeah. That'll be nice because for the non-skid, it's like a good, scrub it really good, clean it, then you put that compound. It's a lot of work. And then it only lasts for, I would say, what, a couple of months of people walking around. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So this will last up on the non-skid. It makes it way easier to clean. Mm -hmm. So those are those are the basic benefits is the ease of clean. Um, you won't get any oxidation. We guarantee three years no oxidation as long as you keep up your mm -hmm. aftercare. So uh, it's, it'll last. And even if even if your boat, a lot of people ask, well, what if it has to be recoated? Even if you have to recoat it, it doesn't have to be rebuffed because you haven't gotten the, uh, the oxidation on it. Oh, so it's less labor having it ceramic coated in two, three, four years down the road. Right. Right, since it was done initially. Right. So if it needs to be done, um, and you'll be able to tell if it's totally worn out, but if you're using the aftercare, the aftercare acts like uh, like your bottom paint. You know, mm -hmm. it'll wear off, mm -hmm. and then you put it on, and it'll wear off, and then you put it on, and it'll wear off, instead of wearing off your ceramic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's why we say it's yeah. so important to, to keep it up. And you don't have to do the whole boat at once. That's the nice part about it is you can do a section while you're, you know, at your leisure. Mm -hmm. you just keep track of the sections that you do, you know, maybe you're just going to do a half of this hull and you got a half an hour to, to spend. Actually, mm -hmm. half an hour you could do the whole side of the boat. Mm -hmm. But uh, and then uh, just keep track and maybe the next time you're on the other side of the dock, wherever you're staying, and you do that side. Mm -hmm. And then just kind of keep track. and. You'll do your windows more often. Windows and stainless are not porous enough to hold any material very long. Right. So the windows you do more often. Yeah. And when I was researching ceramic versus wax, what I came across was is uh, well, ceramic is a kind of wax, but it's a lot thicker than what wax is. When you put two coats of wax on as opposed to two coats of ceramic, the ceramic coat is going to be like two, three, four times thicker um, on the surface of the uh, of the the boat, and that's why wax wears off because of how thin it is. It it, it deteriorates really quickly. I thought the ceramic was different than the wax. It is different, like you, like you said. I, it, I didn't understand that it was a type of wax. 
It isn't. Yeah, it, it, it's, I mean, it serves the similar purpose. Oh, okay. Yeah. But it's, uh, um, and also there's different ceramics. So ours is all marine grade. We don't have a lighter grade. Uh, Ceramic Pro, System X, and a lot of the big names have a variety of ceramic coatings because they use them for automotive and, mm -hmm. and different things. And then when you get into your marine grade, it's the thickest of all. And it's also the most expensive of all on some of these other companies. So our company, we have only marine grade, and it's the heaviest duty that you can See, that's buy. Everything on my boat, marine grade is really important to me. You get an electrical wiring, everything. Just it, without that, nothing at auto at auto zone goes on my boat. I just put it that way, right? right? You know, just <laughs> there, there's a lot of similarities between automotive and boats, but that yeah. salt water and that constant sun. You know, even cars, you know, they, they, they drive on the road, there's trees, but put shade around them and stuff. Right. There's right. no, there's not a lot of trees that shade boats, you know, you're, and, and the boating season is always the summertime. We're out in the sun. We're looking to have fun in that, that great weather. Right. And, yeah. and, and that's another reason for ceramic coating. You don't want to come home or you don't want to spend half of your time on your boat cleaning it. Right. <laughs> which, which, unfortunately, we spend an enormous amount of time cleaning. So, yeah, we're looking forward to this being done. This is good. So I climbed up, he's got the, the roof actually done, and it's like a mirror on top of the roof. The whole top, it is, well, it is gorgeous. Vents, you can see the reflections. Yeah. Like, right there, I can see everybody driving by. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've seen it that shiny. <laughs> yeah. no, and, and, and you can see the definition of the trees, and, and uh, if I had my shirt up closer, you'd be able to actually read the, mm -hmm. the uh, print. Yeah. And uh, you can't do that in a new boat. Mm -hmm. or even a used boat mm -hmm. of any sort. So, yeah. so if, if anybody wants to contact you with further questions and stuff about ceramic coating, how should they get a hold of you? So there's two different ways. We have our, our website and then we also have uh, um, email mm -hmm. and uh, they can call me as well. Okay. My number is... Uh, website in the description. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And email as well and then um, you can put my number in there as okay. well. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, cool. Well, cool. Thank you, Kevin. This is fantastic. Yeah, thank you, guys. Mm -hmm. I appreciate your business. Mm -hmm. and look forward to hearing how you enjoy your boat. And, and, and I also heard you had an R23. Yep. And you just sold it. What are you buying instead? The 25. 25. Sweet. So <laughs> in. Possibly um, February in time for the boat show. Uh, we will have a booth in the boat show. Uh, we are members of the Marine Trade Association. Uh, when I started ceramic coating, the Marine Trade Association didn't know anything about it, and nobody was doing it. So um, I did my boat, and somebody else wanted their boat done once they saw mine, and I did their boat, and uh, then they had friends who wanted their boat done, and then those did friends. Did you the business? And then, uh, <laughs> yeah, so I, I said, well, Nobody's at the boat show. I sent them to the boat show to find somebody to do it because I had another business and uh, uh, they couldn't find anybody. So they, they do just, a great job. Mm -hmm. It was beautiful so far and I even done. Mm -hmm. Well, I appreciate that. We, we um, have gotten a pretty good reputation. I feel that we've really earned it. I, I can attest that there's, there's three other Ranger tugs specifically I know of that have been ceramic coated. And all three owners have have nothing but but rants and raves to say about how how fantastic it is and how and how it works. You know, so that was that was weighed heavily in our decision to go and do ceramic coating. And you know, we were out here last summer doing the waxing and stuff in the middle of summer, in the middle of the heat and stuff, and it's just never fun. I'd rather be out boating. Yes. You know? <clears throat> I'm looking for because I, I put Rain-X on the windows and I watch the water run right off, so I want to see that on the whole boat. Yep. Right. Just to have that water shed right off and that salt just fall off the boat. Yep, that's how it works. Yeah, so. Well, cool. Thank you, Kevin. All right, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you.
that. <laughs> I didn't even take the drain plug out. <laughs> okay. Alright, We just got her back in the water and we had her ceramic clay and boy does she shine. It's beautiful. And now we're just headed back to our spot. So what do you think? We just got her back in the water after a ceramic coating. What do you think of it? Awesome. The boat is so shiny. Now we gotta do the interior with that uh, aftercare and all this stuff. All of this stuff? Yep. The whole inside. My windows. I'm afraid to walk on my boat with my shoes. Lean on this side of the boat. Here's the water. Hear that? That's cool. Wow. Look at that. The river flow. <laughs> wow. It's never done that before. <laughs> Not like that. Not like that. Bring a blow dryer. <clears throat> the water just does not stick into the radar dome. Very cool. Again, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, 
the video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell for notifications so you get notified when I upload a new video. And until the next video, stay tuned for more channel surfing.